Allison here and in today's FileMaker tutorial we are going to learn how to protect the data by creating an edit pop-up window. So let's get started. So we are looking at a customer detail layout and uh, we have some basic company information here. Uh, company name, address, uh, phone, email, and website. And when I click on uh, the items, they are not clickable intoable and not editable. And when I click this pencil icon, we have this nice pop-up where I can change anything um, here and then click done and it automatically updates the record, uh, but still makes it uh, not possible for me to click into anything accidentally and change it. So it's just a nice quick way um, to create a uh, data entry format uh, while protecting uh, data. Now that we've seen how to uh, protect the data by not being able to enter it uh, on the layout and needing to click an icon uh, to go to a popover, where we can go ahead and change the data. Let's go behind the scenes and see how this is all put together. So going into Edit Layout, the first thing that we want to take a look at is how we prevent entry into the field in browse mode. So uh, I'm going to click on a field and I'm going to go ahead and show my inspector. And here's the inspector. And in the data section, which is the uh, section on the top right of the uh, inspector, uh, we're going to scroll down a bit into the behavior portion and look in the field entry section. And notice that uh, for this field, the browse mode is deselected. That's what allows us to prevent entry into that field in browse mode. And I've done that for um, all of these uh, fields prevented data entry. So that is uh, that piece of it. So let's move on to the popover. So I'm going to close the inspector and uh, this is the popover. And when I double click it, I'm going to scroll down a little bit so we can see the whole thing. You'll see that the company name, address, uh, one and two, city, state, all the fields are here. And when I click on them, and bring back the inspector, you'll see that browse is selected. So this is the place where somebody could change data deliberately um, and not accidentally on the main part of the layout. And then I'm gonna close this. The other piece of this is the done button. And when I click it, I have a small script associated with this and I'll show you why in a minute. Uh, but if we just look at this script, it's only got uh, two steps in it. Close popover and uh, commit record uh, on it. So we'll say OK and uh, I'll show you why when we go into exit layout back into browse mode. Uh, when I click it and I make a change and then choose done, uh, it just uh, looks normal. And so when I edit layout and I change this um, button, let me scroll down again, uh, so that instead of performing a script, it just does a single step. So I'm going to delete this, and I'm going to do a single step to close the popover, which would be the natural thing to do, to just do a single step and not a script. Uh, let's go into Exit Layout and Browse. Now, when I make a change and hit done, the button itself is highlighted. And that particular little thing bugs me, and so I created a script uh, that commits the record so that uh, the focus isn't on the button, uh, because it just uh, is, for the user, a slightly odd uh, experience. So that is why I chose uh, to perform a script uh, so that it would do the two steps instead of uh, just the one and create a more um, 
sort of elegant, less disruptive. I know it's a minor thing, but I think sometimes these small things can help. And so that is how we put it together. And uh, when you're creating a new popover, the popover tool is here on the toolbar. And when you click on the uh, button and drag it, you can choose popover button. And I'll just give you a little feel for this. So like if I were to create a button here, there's your popover uh, section. And you can uh, just drag fields onto it, uh, company. Uh, you can, you know, create the label for it, uh, and so I'm sure you can imagine if you keep going with this, you can sort of get it all laid out, and of course we can flip back to the button tool and create a button and, you know, say done and get it to do our script. Uh, or if you're not bothered by uh, the focus uh, bit on the button, then you can just do a single step of close the popover. And that is how the whole thing is put together. So that when we click the icon, we can edit. That is our tutorial for today. I hope you found it useful. If you did, if you could give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please go ahead and click the subscribe button. Thank you for watching and have a great day.